Hello everyone. So welcome to my channel. Today we would be doing lead code uh, contest, basically the weekly contest. Here we are having the four questions. So today I'll solve all four questions part by part in each video. So this is the first question which was there in our today's lead code contest. So basically as a tag says that it is easy level question, right? So the thing would be its constraint would be in that manner that we can even use brute force, right? So that's why now here constraints are also like words dot length means length of each word which uh, that would be simply equal to 100 or less than that and even the words a vector array whatsoever is given to us that also would be simply less than equals to 100. So we can easily traverse the whole array and we can get a solution. Now comes the part that how we are uh, now we can read about this statement. So then this that given an array of strings words return the first palindromic string so th this thing which is written here that first palindromic string that simply refers to that there could be more palindromic strings in our words array right but we are required to return just the first palindromic string in our array now here if there is no such string then we are required to return empty string so this is the thing which we would be doing if we don't find any palindromic string all right now next thing is that that what a palindrome is. A pa string is palindromic if it reads the same forward and backward. So this is the thing about the palindrome. Now uh, let us take the first example. Here A, B, C. It is not a palindrome because A here and it's C here. So if we read from first means from left to right and A is there but when we read from right to left then C is there. So they are not equal to. Yes. Now it is not a palindrome. Now, if we go to this car, then again, they are not equal. But if we go to add up, then A, if we read from left to right, then the first letter, first character which is there, it is A. And if we read from right to left, then the first character which is there, that is also A, right? And then if we take, uh, if we move ahead uh, in both the direction, then it will simply come to this T. And then again, it is pointing to the same character only. So that's why it is the palindrome. Now the thing is that they have told us that we are required to just return the first palindrome mixing, right? So that's why here we will simply return this add our, uh, as our answer and we won't move ahead. So this is the thing which we are required to do in this question. Like this only we would be doing for all of these examples, uh, whatever is there. So this is how it is like. Now let me first tell you that in parts how we will code this. The thing is, first thing we are required to find the palindrome. Right? First thing is this. And the second thing is we are required to traverse the array which is given to us. Traverse the array and get each string from there. Right? And this string would be simply put into this particular function means finding the palindrome function and then we are simply required to return true or false means either true would be returned or false would be returned and if we get true then we are simply required to have that particular string as our answer so this is a thing which we would be doing in this particular question so now let me walk you through the code that how we would be writing its code so here, as I mentioned that first, we will be simply finding out the palindrome. That's why I made this palindrome function. And then we are required to, uh, we are required to have this particular uh, function in which we are simply traversing the word array. Now I have taken this string answer, which is initially empty. That is, if we are not able to find out our answer, then this empty string would be returned when we are returning this answer. Right. So now comes the part of traversal of that L. Now the thing is that first what we would be doing is we'll start the loop and then we will be calling at this is pal function. Is pal function is simply for finding out the palindrome and we will be simply uh, putting the parameter as words of i which will be simply a string. Right. And then what we would be doing is we'll simply assign the word of i if this particular is pal function returns true, right? And then at that moment only, 
will simply break and then we'll return our answer why we are breaking at this moment is because we just are required to return the first palindrome right now the thing is in this palindromic function bool palindrome how we are finding the palindrome i left right all right i uh, left will be starting from zero and right will be starting from the end right so what we are doing that while i left is less than equals to right we will simply keep this check that it is less than or equals to why we are taking this equals to is because there could be string of length odd numbers right so we would be pointing left and right at the same position only so at that moment it is required to return true so that's why we have taken this equal to sign now how we would be doing is that if for s of left plus plus we are simply incrementing and decrementing at the same step only so that's why i have taken it like this so if our s of left plus plus is not equals to s of right minus minus right so that would be the case like this only that here s of left and s of right they were not equals to so at, so at this particular moment it will simply return false so if this condition doesn't comes up any moment of the time then at the end it will return true so this is how we will be solving this question and now comes the part that what would be the time complexity of this particular question right so the time complexity of this particular question is simply order of n because we are required to traverse this whole words array right this words vector we are required to traverse this whole words vector and we are having a say or n words in this particular words array basically in c++ it's vector presently means it is given as a vector not an array right so n words are there and then what is the space complexity so if we say space complexity so we have, we don't have used any external data structure beside this particular string basically this string is just for returning our answer only so that's why we are not counting that also so that's why here the answer would be simply for space complexity order of 1 right so this was all for this particular question i will solve the next uh, contest uh, means next solution uh, next question is next video so this was all for it if you have any suggestion for the same or any new approach with would be more optimized than this then you could tell the that in the comment so this was all for it thank you